Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today, number 14 of this current series on Southern California eating establishments. This particular episode is based on a place that started overseas, but has branched out across the world. And I just discovered there is a spot just down the road in Anaheim. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? I don't know why it slipped past my radar that there's one so close by, but grabbing my stuff and heading out. Yep, you're right, Big the Foot. That is a trailer full of mattresses. And Euclid Street is our exit, just off the 5 freeway. Arrived at the crossroads of Crescent Ave and Euclid Street under the shadow, well, under the shroud of the shade of a palm tree directly above my head and off in the distance is the signage placement right here. Jolly Bee, home of the famous Chicken Joy. They do have a drive-through, but takeout is also available at the moment. I have heard a lot about this establishment and its food. Can't wait to try it. My first time. Started in the mid to late 70s in the Philippines and their mascot, which is this cute little face, has made the commute. Just to reiterate, I'm not going through the drive-thru. I'm, I'm gonna walk you. My glasses, I'm starting to fog. Foggy glasses. Currently open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. each day. And it appears as if the mascot's hanging out out front as well. Saying, come on in. I'm just, that's, I'm not sure if that's the voice or not. But a cheesy yum burger. That looks tasty. And a bucket of fried chicken. You can also do call and pick up or go in and order. I'm so happy. Whoa, free gravy? $8.99 six piece bucket comes with free gravy. Can't beat that. With open arms. See, arms stretched out into the front door. Very accommodating. I've more or less stayed spoiler free on what the menu options are. It's, just gotta go in and take a look. An assortment of products, including a pineapple mango quencher. That sounds pretty good. And down here, it's not too busy at the moment, but there are little markers upon the ground. Only five people inside at a time. Got it all ordered right here in this bag. I just gotta find a park or a place to go sit and, and eat. Any suggestions on something in the neighborhood? You know, within a few blocks, within a, you know, a mile or two or less. Something in the general vicinity. You're still, you're still summoning back in. I already, I already got my stuff. I got a, my beverage and my, my meal there. Okay, I'll be all right, I'll, I'll figure it out. Found a spot. Three hour parking limit, but it should take me three hours to eat my meal. Sage Park. Ah, open picnic table. Right here, perfectly shaded.
Nice. However, after closer inspection, there is quite a bit of liquid on the seating area, most likely because from the branches. Across the way, I think there's a, a few more picnic, here, picnic tables over there. The petals have fallen on the grass here. Also in the shade, this one has a trash receptacle nearby. They all look to be a little damp. This one's got a covering on it. And this one has a chain around the trunk of the tree. It's a very noisy beverage as I walk. Okay, this is happening. It's about the driest of all the tables. You have to kind of balance out what you desire. There's one over there in the distance that's directly in the sun, which will not have any, any moisture. But I'd rather be in the shade. So I'll take the, it's not too bad. It's not too wet. The windy bag kind of gives the mascot a little life as if, as if he's talking to us. I asked the employee upon entering, I said, just give me a little sample of everything. He recommended whichever number combo that I received, which includes a peach mango pie, the free small tiny vat of gravy, this pineapple beverage, which I have yet to sip, and this, well also napkins and plastic cutlery, and a, a bag here. This is what we're, what, what's it? Oh, okay. Two pieces of chicken, not one. At first I thought I was going to get the one piece. Two pieces of fried chicken and spaghetti. Yeah, I think that's, that's spaghetti and possibly cheese on there. And what is this in here? Wow, this has all the bells and whistles. All right, this is a this is a cavalcade of tasty looking goodness. Okay, I wanted the box top to stay up to give you the perspective. I guess that's kind of dramatic when it closes, right? The short drive over here, this was tempting me to take a sip. But I didn't. I wanted to wait. I wanted to wait. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's fresh pineapple. Okay. Spaghetti or... I think I'm going to go with go with the leg. Whoa. Caught that. Just in time. It flew off. You tried flying off the table. 100% environmentally friendly. Nice. I've used the gravy, the gravy basket. Well, not a basket, but the gravy bowl. I've, I've used the gravy, whatever it's inside of, to hold down the floating, the floating bag. Now, am I supposed to take this and dunk it and dip it down in there? Possibly. Uh, maybe I was supposed to get potatoes with this, like mashed potatoes. All right. Why not? Oh, that was probably a bad idea. This is going to make quite a mess. <laughs> Should I use this as a, as a drip cup? <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right. Okay, here goes. Warm. That is warm. That is dang good chicken. Goodness gracious. So far, I'm pretty, pretty content with everything. Spaghetti time. And the, I could look this up to see what's in here, but 
It's better just to be surprised. Oh man, I love spaghetti. Some big pieces. It's not sliced up and cut up into small, small links. Mmm. That's a little different. The noodles, the noodles have a little bit different taste than what I'm used to. Very similar, but there's a little bit of a, a different taste. Okay, going into these. Mmm. A hot dog? A hot dog, maybe? Kind of reminds me of beanies and weenies. It's a different combo than what I'm used to. Fried chicken, fried chicken and spaghetti is not normally, that's nor, not normally how I put things together. All in all though, it works. Kind of works. That's a lot. It's a big bite. Mmm. Total on all of this was eleven dollars and ninety-four cents. Not too bad. I'm already starting to fill up a little bit. Going in now on the second piece of chicken without the gravy. I'm gonna go sans gravy on that. I'm a little bit silhouetted, but that's all right. It's a silhouetted chicken bite. The outer layer, very crunchy. Very crunchy, crunchier on this one than the first piece. That is so good. I love fried chicken. It reminds me of growing up. It also reminds me of Aunt B. In the Andy Griffith Show always made fried chicken. Kind of makes me feel good when I eat fried chicken. Oh, Aunt B made fried chicken and so does Jolly Bee. There's a similar I didn't realize there's a similarity there. That was an accident, but it works. Peach apple When I presented this, what I'm seeing is the backside with nothing written on it. So in my brain I was thinking that I was showing the wrong Peach, apple pie, apple pie. peach, mango pie. Once again, I must state that I did not know what I was ordering when I went in. I said, give me what is the most popular, what you are best known for. And all of this, including this, came from that announcement. Peach and mango. Noisy birds. Mmm. 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 An assortment of flavors. Washing it down with some pineapple drink. Oh, 
on paper it doesn't sound like it would be delightful to the taste buds, but I like it. Very surprised with how tasty that was. Would return and will return down the road. The portions were decent. The price was not too shabby. It was a good meal. Dessert, entree, free gravy, and a little twist on a beverage. Nice. I had to know. Jolly spaghetti. What was in it? Share your favorite cheesiest, meatiest, and best tasting spaghetti. Fresh noodles stocked with signature meaty spaghetti sauce, hot dog slices, and creamy grated cheese. Now I know. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It let's me know you care. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. It's over.